This is the Watch Reckon War from and today we're gonna do a new quest called the Sands of Ignaros. And this will give us a new well, Warframe, ladies and gentlemen. Just but before we could do that, we go to Saturn and we talk to our friend Barrel Katir to get the quest blueprint. And since we have bought it now, it is time to build it in our foundry. And you need to know that you need one Natain extract. And you need six hours. And after that six hours, it is done. And now, it is time to begin our new quest, Sands of Inados. And this quest is a doozy, ladies and gentlemen. So you better strap yourselves in because it's a long one. But it's a great one, especially at the end. So are you ready for it? Because I am. And I'm ready for battle. Let's do this. I have a rare opportunity for you. It seems there may be a tomb hidden on that forsaken rock you call Phobos. Tombs mean treasure, and yet sadly, my usual relic hunters are superstitious idiots who refuse to disturb this so-called sacred place. You, Tenno, however, are more pragmatic, especially when it comes to ducats, am I right? So, we got the mission statement of Barrel so it is time for our first part of the mission. And we need to go to the desert tombs. And we need to fight infestations. But for every person, it will de be a different faction. So, some might have Corpus or some might have Grenier. I had the infestations. filth and grit in every breath. This desolate rock is the former colony of the backward-thinking sky worshippers. Their stories are worth as much as the sand around you. Nothing. The Grenier took pity on their miserable existence years ago, returning this so-called civilization to the sand. Yet for some elusive reason, their relics have become quite fashionable and thus valuable. Rare antiquities. That's why we're here. Attack us and we will counter. So after walking for a long, long time, fighting infestations, we finally arrive at the tomb. And you can recognize it by the banners on the outside. So we go inside, a little fire here, and now it begins. Ignore these glyphs. Nothing but nonsense about their so-called god king. Inoros, is it? How quaint. The only thing heaven said from Inaros will be the prices relics fetch at auction. Hush, hush, my little doom. You don't need to be scared. There, there. That's right, shake out the sand. But remember, not all of it. And I'll tell you the story. Long ago, the lands of our colony were cursed. They were soaked in fear. The golden skymen would come and take our children away. Young and old alike cowered before them, afraid to lose their most beloved. That voice! Tenno, stop this! But then he came. The Fear Eater. The Sky Killer. He was called Inaros. vessel. It will contain precious relics. There, there, you're not defiling a tomb. You're creating wealth. Return to your ship. We must examine this vessel further. And there you have it. The mission is complete and we have our first sacred urn or vessel, whatever you want to call it, and our first blueprint part. I could have never foreseen this. That vessel, it contains primitive etchings that seem to be a sort of blueprint. Was a warframe entombed there? Look at it. It's exquisite. There's an inscription. Prove you are him. Destroy the ones who oppress. Destroy who? Does this smudged glyph represent some enemy? 
You'll have to carry that vessel into battle and prove yourself if we are to unlock these secrets. So we have this vessel now and it needs to be filled with the souls of the Detran crewmen. And you can see that by the little picture in front of your vessel. But every vessel can be different. So you need to remember that. And you need to go to your gear and equip it. Put it into your gear. Take it with you on the mission. So now that we have done that, it is time to hunt down Detron crewmen. So I went to Jupiter and did the mission on EO. And when you kill the Detron crewmen, you can see a little glow on your screen. And you need to kill as many as possible to fill the whole vessel. And Barrel Kateer will tell you when it is filled. So just keep on killing. And there you have it. It is half filled, but we need to fill it till the tippity top. And now it is. So now that we have filled the vessel, it is time to return to the tombs. So again, ladies and gentlemen, we go to OPIC and we start the quest. And would you believe it, here we are again at the tomb. So what part of the story will be told to us today? Take the vessel to the door. What happens? Little one, after this you must sleep. took away, Inaros grew even more angry, until one fateful night. Another child had been taken, and the villagers had gathered in a morning circle weeping, until they heard a small voice. By the tombs, it was the child returned. As he approached, the people gasped in horror, as they saw that he was drenched in blood. His father rushed to the boy and embraced him, and saw that he had no wounds. Whose blood is this? he asked. The boy looked to the sky and said, This is the blood of the Skymen. This is the work of Inaros. By the sand and the stars, the Skymen raged. They set upon Inaros with their armies, but none could prevail. For he commanded the sand, he commanded death. Inaros ate their fear and became stronger. None of this, none of this could be true, could it? And so they left us and took with them our fear. On that day, Inaros became our king and in a great whirlwind of sand, ascended to watch over us from his throne in the sky. What if? It, it can't be. 
So Barrow is confused and we are standing here in the middle of this room and suddenly, suddenly, ladies and gentlemen, we get attacked by these new bastards. And there you go, we killed all the cats we could find and we get another blueprint part, ladies and gentlemen, and another vessel. So, this time, we need to find other enemies to fill it up. I'm beginning to think this Inoro Smith was drawn from an actual Warframe. Oh, I see. Another glyph. Another challenge. See if you can figure out which enemy it represents. So this time we need to hunt down the real gun Moa. And well, that is easy enough, I guess. So we went to Mars and did a interception mission on Augustus. And there are after a while, after 10 minutes, the blue bastards will come out and play. This wretched place. Why did I even come here? I keep telling myself it was the treasure, but push it back, stupid barrel. There's no wealth in these memories. Tenno, we need to open that next chamber. Go. So as you can see, it is time for the third part of this mission. The real gun MOAs have all been hunted down and we continue with the quest. The Grenier have picked up our scent. They'll take me. It's Inaros. You have to stop these animals at once. So where is she? That voice. I think I need to hear the rest. I think I've needed to hear this for a long time. Later, a plague came to the desert. The infested. Desperate, our people called out to the sky. Inaros! Inaros! But they could not wake him. And so, they were consumed by the ravenous horde. With all lost, the few remaining villagers gathered in the morning circle to prepare for the end. When suddenly, a storm rose about them. A colossal spiral storm of sand piercing the sky. 
The villagers huddled, trapped within the storm's eye as the beasts charged them. In moments, the beasts were torn apart and the infested plague was swept away, never to be seen again. As the storm subsided, the people ventured out into the desert, hoping to catch a glimpse of their savior, their beloved Inaros. Need to keep a lookout for supplies. Get ready. Okay, Bato said I need to be ready. Ready for what, you bastard? So we continue out of the room and suddenly in the big room there are these big hunking bastards throwing rocks at me. Are you flipping kidding me? So it's time to kill these bastards and these are just like the rumblers of the atlas so every time you kill him he comes back as a little one so keep on killing him until there are no rocks left over them once again they gathered his body to keep it safe from thieves and raiders they placed the pieces within the sacred vessels and entombed them in secret knowing that one day Inaros would reclaim his body and rise again so now my sweet doom you have no need of fear take these grains and keep them under your pillow Inaros will watch over you Find extraction. We're done here. So there we go, ladies and gentlemen. Another mission done. And we get another blueprint part. Oh my god. It is almost complete, ladies and gentlemen. So what do we need to do now? The story isn't just a myth, is it? Look at this sacred vessel. One of four, just as she described. And the challenges, you must prove your tenno. And this time we hunt the juggernaut. And that is easy enough as well. Just do infestation missions and kill as many infestations as you can. So I went to Eris and did a hive mission. And there we go. Just kill a lot of juggernauts. I did this mission, I think, about five times to fully fill my vessel so wow that's a fucked up sentence fully fill your vessel and there we go after we've done that it is time for our last part of the quest but first the last juggernaut has to be dealt with so there we go just use your ash prime like i did it is a very good warframe for for missions you don't know what you're gonna get because Ash Prime is the ultimate ninja. Grenier are returning in force. Tenno, I don't care about the money anymore. Just stop those dogs from getting in Auros. So here we are. The vessel is fully filled, so it is time, ladies and gentlemen, for the last part of this beautiful quest. But Google will see. What will we fight? We'll find out right now. Cut them down. Make them fear this place. The Grenier should be swept away. Or no. So here we are, the last time we enter this tomb. So we better make the quickly, best of it. Quickly, my sweet dune, they're coming. I tried so hard to forget.
Stay in here. Don't make a sound, Mara. Here, hold these grains in your hand tight. Inaros will protect you. It wasn't me I was worried about. What do you want? No, you have no right. Inaros. 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 No, no, it's just me. Inaros. Inaros. But Inoros never came. You've shown me why I came here, Tenno. Not for riches. How big is this place? The doors are closing again. Prove that you're worthy of Inoros' strength one last time. Well, I guess it is time for battle. And the battle is against these two protectors. And they look a lot like the new Inaros. Only a little bit of shadowy. Just like the Shadow Stalker, only the Inaros. So I thought, well, that will be easy enough. Just kill a... And suddenly there is Groot. Groot is after me. He is trying to kill me. So, oh my god, we need to use our special skills. And when we do that, it is all easy enough. So just keep on killing the protectors and the big ass Groot wannabes and you complete the quest so let's do that Wait, 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 time out. Easy now. Let's be friends, guy. Don't... Ah, fuck. My mother's call will be answered. Inaros will rise again. Come home, Tenno. So, ladies and gentlemen, say goodbye to the tomb because we'll probably never see it again. And we get our last blueprint part, which means we completed the whole flipping quest, ladies and gentlemen. So, I hope you enjoyed this quest, walking it through with me, and I hope you enjoyed playing it yourself. And, you know what? Check out all my other videos, they are crazy like this one, and I hope to see you there. And until then, adios. So here we are. We got a whole lot of nine, level 90 bombards. And well, look at the red crits, ladies and gentlemen. I'm not even aiming. I'm not aiming for heads or nothing. I'm just shooting at them. And look at that. All the red crits. Of course, given that they 